My Benedictine vocation was born at Penn State University, where I was a college student. Before going to Penn State, I had never heard of Benedictines before, but at Penn State I met the student chaplains there who have been monks of St. Vincent Arch Abbey for more than 50 years now, about 30 years at that point. I got to know four or five of the monks quite well through my involvement with the student campus ministry, but it was only during the fall of my senior year that I followed up on the invitation of one of the monks to come and visit St. Vincent. I had just begun, shortly before that point, thinking about a religious vocation, and when I was offered that invitation, I thought I'd follow up on it. I did, and I immediately felt at home here at St. Vincent. My very first visit in that first weekend of October 1993, I felt this is the place for me. It's hard to put a finger on exactly what made me feel that way. Certainly the monks I met, the activities I saw, the works I saw going on, the spirit of this community was something that struck me immediately. And I then took that back to Penn State and through the rest of that senior year, spoke with those monks who were stationed there, worked with them, came to what I think was a really authentic discernment. And it was right after the, my graduation that I entered the community then. I graduated from Penn State in May of 94 and entered the monastery in July of 94. And so it unfolded quickly, but in a way that I think was well-founded because of my experience with the Benedictines in the years, in my earlier years at Penn State. You, you can't really capture that spirit, but one can simply experience it. There was a sense of mutual purpose and vision. There was a strong spirit of support for one another. And I saw that even between monks who might work in different areas or have quite different personalities or different backgrounds. I saw a mutual respect and support, all working toward the common end of living together in a Benedictine monastic community, seeking God each in our own individual way, but along common lines and within a common structure of a community and, and worship and uh, the liturgy. So those would be some indicators of the spirit that I found and that I, I rejoiced in then as much as I do now and as much as I try to contribute to it now. <laughs>